How you doing guys? This is Eric. This video is going to be about one thing that I think almost everyone has left out of their bug out bag. I've done a lot of video, or not done, but I've watched a lot of videos on everyone's bug out bags, which is really interesting. I've been working lately on putting mine back together. I kind of had it strewn out. I'm going camping this weekend, so I'm looking at all the different equipment and stuff that I have. And when I come back, I'm going to, after having tested a few other pieces of equipment, put it all back together and show you guys how I do it. And one of the things that, like I said, I've never seen anyone else have in their bug out bag is this. This is a military waterproof clothing bag. It's a kind of plasticized canvas with a rubber coating, completely waterproof, and it has a drawstring here. Fairly big, as you can see. I just recently did a video about that movie Survival Family, and one thing that you notice that happens in that is that when they're caught in a rainstorm, a lot of their stuff is ruined, including a big bag of rice that they had. You can have a lot of stuff that would be not good to get wet. Even if it's not ruined, things like clothing, your bag gets heavier. Just, it's just not a good deal to have all your stuff get soaked, and some things would be particularly damaged by getting wet, especially repeatedly. So this thing is not very heavy. It's obviously a fantastic addition to any bug out bag. And Keeping your things dry is only one of the possible uses for something like this. You can obviously hold water inside of it as well if you need to in an emergency. It would taste kind of weird because of this black rubber probably, but in an emergency, you could hold 10 gallons or something or more in here at least, I'm guessing. And uh, you can do clothes in here, you can, I mean wash clothes in here. You can put your detergent in there, put the, the clothes in there, wash it up. I imagine that's what it's originally designed for. And also, in an emergency, since it's airtight, you can um, fill it with air, tie it up, and it will uh, float. Use it as a flotation device. And also, if you have it already in your bag, rolled up, tied up, or some other how or some other way pinched closed, if your bag falls in the water it will help it float and not sink because not all, everything won't just get wet and sink to the bottom. If you have something like this in there, it might actually float. So there's a whole bunch of different things. You could even potentially um, do a different sort of water collection, you know, like when you put it over leaves and let it evaporate in there, all sorts of random stuff you could do with a, uh, with a waterproof bag like this. And keeping your all your important equipment dry is obviously the most important one of those. Rainwater collection, all sorts of stuff you can do. So definitely you should look into that. I'll put a link to the actual military ones and, and similar things. But if you can't even, if you don't have one of these or you don't have access to them it, right now, at the very least, grab a couple plastic garbage bags and put them in your bag. Put one inside it, you know, like you would in a trash can and put all your stuff in there so you can just twist it shut at the top and serve the same purpose. It won't be nearly as robust, but it will at least keep your stuff dry from you know, getting rained on and things like that. Won't necessarily keep it dry if it gets completely submerged, unless you really tie it tight, but it will keep it dry if there's rain or anything like that. So, very good thing to have. I suggest everyone get one for their bug out bag because most people have left it out and it's a fairly inexpensive way to really protect all your gear and give you some additional things you can do. So, thanks for watching, guys. Talk to you later.